Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Eddie. Today I'm going to show you how to set up N8N completely for free using Docker. And then we're going to take it to the next level by giving your AI agents real superpowers using something called MCP or Model Context Protocol. So imagine this, your AI can now use real tools and APIs to get things done in a standardized way without guesswork. No more writing messy code, no more searching endless API docs, and no more endless node setup that just gives more problems, especially if you're a beginner and you've never done this before. So with MCP, what it really does is it finds the right tool, it connects to it and actually executes the task all by itself. Think about it like this. There's many different things that an API can do. It can draft an email, send an email, label an email, etc., whatever. The MCP essentially is the centralized hub that looks at all the options it can do and it uses AI to decide, okay, I should probably send an email. I should probably draft an email, etc. It makes it super, super simple, right? So ultimately it's like having a hundred different cables for a specific need versus having one tool for them all. So it essentially finds the right tool, connects to it, and executes the task all by itself. And the best part, you don't even need to be a developer to do this. You can do this as an absolute beginner. If you're new here, I'm Eddie. I built a consulting company to a high of $132,000 a month, servicing Fortune 500 companies. And by the end, you'll have a working AI agent that answers real questions using real data that runs totally for free on your computer. So here's the plan. We're gonna go ahead and first install N8N using Docker totally for free again on your computer. We're gonna add MCP to unlock real tool access to make it easy for you as a beginner and connect your AI agent to give it superpowers and then show it how to search the web to get you real answers. Stick to the end because I'm gonna show you something that not even the pro engineers know how to do. Now, before we begin, I'll give you a quick rundown of why we're using Docker in the first place. So essentially what it is, it's a container that allows you to host the app in a very simple way. Since I know you guys uh, that are complete beginners may not understand this exact flow, I'll put it to you in an even simpler way. So imagine it's like having a coffee that you're drinking. Instead of having it just openly available to you, you can actually pour that coffee into a cup, like a to-go cup, and then essentially take that with you anywhere to go. You don't need to have it just open and all about everywhere, which is gonna be a mess and not so efficient. You can just pour it into your cup and have it ready to drink, take it with you on the train, in your house, in your friend's house, whatever you want to work, and it's good to go. So the next step we'll go ahead and do is go ahead and go to docker.com, and what you're gonna do is press download Docker desktop, choose the one that applies to your machine, and then go ahead and follow the instructions after it downloads to open the appropriate page. Now that that's finished downloading, you're gonna open up Docker Desktop and then on the top search bar, you're gonna search N8N and then you'll download the official N8N straight from Docker on there. And then we'll go ahead and go to images here on the left and find that specific N8N image and click run. You'll see these settings. We'll go ahead and get it configured, put a name that works well for you. I'll just put N8N test. If you're an absolute beginner, just follow along completely as I'm doing it. You could select any port. We'll just use 5678. For host path, this is essentially where you want to save the data, the information that you have in your AI automation and in an environment, make a folder, save it in there, super simple. And then for container path, what we'll go ahead and do is it will be home slash node slash dot N8N, okay? And then for environment variables, well, you'll actually have to go ahead and go here to get that. This is the link, so you have the details. What this is gonna do is it'll allow you to use MCP in your N8N environment. So we'll go ahead and take that. We will go back to Docker and paste that in. And then for the value, we will set it to true and press run. And then once you press run, then you'll actually be good to go. Press run right there. This will start to load and then it'll give you access here. Once you click that, you'll actually see a sign up screen in which it'll ask you to create a brand new account. It'll ask for your email, password, etc., and set up. You can just go ahead and complete that. Once you're in, you'll see a start from scratch button around here and a brand new account, but we can also do it right here in which we'll create a new workflow. Now NNN is fully set up. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to settings. We will go to community nodes 
and then we will create and install NADN nodes MCP. So that's going to look just like this NADN dash nodes dash MCP. And once it's installed, it'll actually allow you to use MCP. I already have it installed, but once you have it installed, it'll allow you to use MCPs. So we'll go back to the flow and we'll start with a chat, but it can be a variety of different things as a chat trigger so that we can actually access and communicate with an AI agent. Okay, and so then the AI agent will interpret information that you send to it to give you an appropriate response based on the types of tools that you have, what memory you have connected to it, and the chat model there. So one of the first things that we'll actually go ahead and do to make sure it's working well is we'll connect a model to it. In this case, we'll use OpenAI. So right now I already have mine connected. So what you'll want to do is create a new credential and then you'll need an API key from OpenAI. So to get that, it's pretty simple. Just search OpenAI API key and then it should be the very first link. You'll go ahead and log in to your specific account or create an account. It'll take you into your API key page. You'll go ahead and create a new secret key, name it whatever you want and then it'll actually give you an API key. You do not want to share this with anybody. Copy that and we will go back into there, paste it in and you'll be good to go. And once that is ready and connected, we'll then go ahead and add a simple memory, which is native to NADN. You don't need any credentials or anything like that since it is part of NADN. It simply, as it sounds, it allows us to uh, store the past context of what we've spoken about in this chat with the AI agent so that it's a little bit more familiar. Then the next thing we'll do so that we have the MCP server actually set up appropriately. You'll see here, we have a couple of different things that we can do with MCP. What we'll do for the time being is we will list the tools that are available and we will have to create new credentials again for them with a specific command. All right, I'm going to make everything super simple for you guys so that it's easy to follow along with. Um, there's a bunch of different servers and tools that you can connect to uh, that have their appropriate MCP in which to access those, you can go to the GitHub under the MCP servers and see any of these specific ones that will help you specifically. In our case, we're going to go ahead and do Brave so that we have the details for that, which with Brave, you can do specific local searches, web searches, and get accurate information on businesses. For those who don't know, Brave is essentially a browser. It's the browser that I'm using right now. And we'll go ahead and use this, okay? So if we go back, we'll notice that we, it says command. So this is the command we'll be using, npx. You don't have to worry about the details of what any of this means. We'll just go ahead and simplify it for you. So then for the arguments, it is, minus y as we'll see here and this so we'll go ahead and copy this and then we will put minus y paste that in and then for the environments it'll be essentially this brave api key and then your api key here so let's go ahead and paste that in as well as an expression make sure you click expression and then we need the API key for Brave or any MCP server that you're using yourself. So if we're going on Brave, then to get the API, you'll just search normally Brave API if you're going to use this specifically. Now that we're logged in, we'll just click API keys over here. You can just click add API key, name it just like before, NADN, let's say, add, and then you will get a fully functional API key. Press copy. And then we can go right back in to here. We'll go ahead and replace this with that API key. Remember, do not share your API key with anybody. We'll delete those quotations and just change this to equals. So it should say brave API key equals your API key. And then we'll press save. And we should be good to go once we press save. And then we can press test the step. And there we go, we're good to go. So it's working perfectly well. Now that we have that, we can get this closed out and let's add it as a tool. So search again one more time, MCP clients, list tools, we'll just have it set automatically. So it's simple. So essentially the AI agent can call to see what are the various things that the Brave MCP can do. Now we'll get the execution side of it. So what will actually take the action? Let's go to MCP, get another one on there. 
and we will change this to execute tool. And for tool name, we can do a couple things here, but we'll just keep it nice and simple for you guys. Let's put from AI parentheses. And if you need uh, further details, this is essentially the format we're following from AI key description. So we'll put here in quotations tool outside of the quotations comma and then the description of it which is let's just put chosen tool for execution this is going to help the model actually make a decision and then for tool parameters let the model define this parameter so that's going to be ai that decides what is it what is it that this is actually going to do so then once we have that set up i find it helpful to rename so let's put execute tool and then this one is going to be list tool as it suggests there. So let's change that. And then for the agent, they let's do this right here. So for properties, let's have a system message. Basically what a system message is, it, it helps an AI to say what it's identifying as in that moment, such as you are a helpful assistant, you are a great email writer, you are a good novel writer, whatever it might be. So you can leave it like that, or you can change it to a different prompt. I would probably put something like this that actually helps with getting the instructions properly. So always listen to tools first, and then for web searches, use Brave Search MCP to retrieve the most accurate and up-to-date results. Ensure tools are selected based on most relevant match to the user query or what we're saying in the chat, essentially. And then after that, determine what's the best tool for the execution. But this way, we're actually listing all the options that it has available first before doing the final execution and then formatting that output so it's good to go if you wanted an external trigger to send it via email somewhere or whatever you want in Slack, something like that. So then after that point, we'll, we're good to go on that front. Now we can go ahead and test it, guys. So let's press open chat and let's do something like give me the top five restaurants in Milan, Italy. This agent will actually start to flow. And as a quick basic rundown without getting too crazy technical so we can all understand it, it's going to first access the simple memory and saved instructions of the system message that we put in the AI agent. It's going to use the open AI model to interpret the information to see what's the best course of action. Then from there, based on the chat message that we gave, it's going to list the tools available to do that search. Again, OpenAI is going to go ahead and interpret the information to see what is the best tool to use. And it's going to execute that tool, uh, which is Brave Search, right? And then again, this sort of a repetition that's there of executing the tool from that OpenAI interpretation. And then finally, it's going to go ahead and actually uh, translate that into beautifully read great information that is easy to understand for the uh, person like ourselves, right? So if we were to go ahead and press one of these links, then it'll take us over to the restaurant in Milan, Italy that are fantastic. This looks delicious to me. So this is fantastic to go to. And so now that you guys can see from using MCP, we've been able to create um, workflows in a lot more simple, simpler way to where we can access a list of tools and execute on those tools without having to have 25 different nodes or a bunch of different nodes available that makes it way more efficient way easier to use isn't that awesome so if you like that go ahead and drop a like subscribe comment down below what else you want to see next and if you want actual free n8n templates that are totally available for you to use again totally for free check the description down below i have a whole bunch of them ready for you and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future automation n8n make.com making money with this in the future take care bye bye